Hello and welcome to another video by RPI Consultants. Uh, my name is Alex Lindsay and today we're going to demonstrate how to set up workflow queue alarms within Perceptive Content Workflow. Uh, alarms are a great way to keep track of your documents and to notify you when anything has particularly gone wrong with a script or things have been routed or have been sitting in queues for a long time. So today we're going to set up one alarm uh, and an accounts payable workflow as an example. So from the management console, you saw that we navigated to the workflow, opened the particular workflow, and now let's pick a queue that we're going to set up an alarm on. Uh, for this, we're going to use AP approval error. So if anything goes wrong in the approval process, uh, whether it's tried to assign task or can't read the data or the data just doesn't make sense uh, versus a hierarchy that you guys may have, uh, this is where the documents are going to go should they error. So let's set up an alarm for this queue. We're going to double click it. Let's also make sure that we have users in the queue, assigned to the queue. That'll make sense down the line here. Uh, and then from here, we're going to start clicking quite a bit. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is add an alarm. So click add. Uh, it's going to be a new alarm. So select new. Uh, we're going to name it approval error. You'll do this a number of times, so get used to it. Uh, the timeout period here uh, is set to five minutes. I wouldn't modify this or change this in any way. It's just basically an email uh, timeout piece here. Uh, really no need to change it and we really never do. Uh, make sure that it's active and then we select the alarm rule. Since we don't have one yet, we're gonna create one. So you select edit rules. Um, we're also gonna create a new one. Uh, this will start to look a lot like routing rules set up within Perceptive Content Workflow as well. Uh, so we're gonna create our rule here name it approval error. And really important here is to make sure that we select this dropdown from the rule type of routing rule to alarm rule. And from here, again, this is very similar to setting up routing rules. We're gonna click new. And it'll automatically default to a statement here. Q item count is greater than or equal to one. You can add other values as well if you wanna be more specific here in your alarms, like drawers and things like that. But for our purposes, if something's in this queue, something has to be fixed. We're going to name our statement again to keep it consistent. We'll call it approval error. And then we're going to add our alarm type. So we basically have four different types here. Flash icon, uh, which will basically flash the image now icon to basically say, hey, there is something in this queue that has to be fixed. Message center, if you're familiar with that, it's the scroll bar, kind of like a, a, a ticker um, that you see in like New York Times Square uh, from the toolbar itself. That's sometimes used. Uh, play sound, so if something goes into the queue, uh, and the alarm is triggered, it'll play a sound for you. And more often than not, what most people use is to send an email. So we're going to click that. Again, we're going to name this alarm, approval error. Uh, for more generic things, you could just call it general error uh, if you have a lot of different exception cues um, and saying the same thing. The from can be anyone, really. Uh, something that makes sense and maybe catches the eye to the person receiving the email. So image. Uh, I now admin, for instance, at Acme Corp. The two, so you can select specific users. Uh, the users have to be users within ImageNow and they have to have an email address assigned to their profile. Uh, for our purposes, we're basically just going to say email all users in the queue. So those two users we saw assigned to the queue, that's what we're going to send it to. You also have an option for carbon copy and blind carbon copy. And then here's where we're going to configure what the actual message looks like and what the end user is going to be seeing. Uh, if your queue name is descriptive enough, so AP approval error, that's fairly descriptive and should call attention to what needs to be done. Uh, you can just select the queue name here. Uh, these are dynamic values that can be populated and put within the email body uh, to give greater detail on what the alarm says. Uh, so we'll just click queue name here and I'll automatically put it. You can front end that with the word urgent as well uh, if you really need attention to it. And then the body. So this is what the person will see when they open the email up. There are currently, and this is where we can get more dynamic here, total count of items. So it'll tell you how many documents are actually in that queue. In the queue name again, queue. Please investigate and resolve. The other nice thing about this, um, with these functions here, is you can actually add an alarm, uh, alarm link here, that'll take them directly to the queue uh, that they're receiving this message about. 
We'll then set the interval to one day. Um, this is how frequently the email will be sent out. So if you don't want to go in every hour, which I don't recommend because that may be extremely annoying, but in some use cases, it, it could make sense. We'll hit OK. We'll hit OK. We'll make sure this is set to active. We'll hit OK again. OK. Here's where we're going to set the alarm rule. Approval error. Make sure it's still active here. Hit OK. Hit Add. And we now have an alarm set up on your queue. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to myself, alindsay at rpic.com. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.